This video is about Revit uh, 2013 MEP. Uh, in this video, we'll be doing electrical settings, particularly wire sizes and wiring types. Uh, we opened up an existing uh, template file. We've made some other modifications in previous videos. Now we'll be going to the Manage, and under the MEP Settings, which is Electrical Settings. And now we're up to Wire Sizes. And uh, basically, uh, these settings are used in uh, calculation of wire sizes. It's automatically done uh, when circuits are set up. Uh, in the program. And so there's a whole series of tables here uh, which for different materials, temperatures, and insulation types uh, basically uh, these are tables that copy uh, what's available in NFPA 70. So uh, if there's some particular reason why some particular opacity shouldn't be used uh, by the sizing table, there are check boxes here there are the possibilities of setting up uh, alternate materials, temperatures, and insulation types. Uh, for most situations, probably uh, not something that would be widely used. There are also tables here for correction factors uh, for uh, higher ambient temperatures than the uh, standard 86 degrees um, Fahrenheit. And there is a duplication here of sizing table that you see in the uh, NEC. And this is a uh, shows how ground uh, conductors are uh, calculated. That would be equipment grounding conductors. Um, next thing of interest is wiring types. And here's something uh, where you probably actually have to make uh, some settings to this. Uh, this is a list of alternate types that can be used to apply to circuits. And the first one on here is the default. And uh, so this would be the one that automatically uh, gets applied and you would have to make changes to it. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put uh, my particular uh, what I would normally be using. So I'm going to go to copper, uh, 75 degree rated, um, THWN2, and a maximum size table. It's a little deceptive. Uh, it says it looks like it's 20, but the reality is that's 2000 MCM. Uh, personally, I like to stop at 500 MCM. Uh, neutral multiplier, um, this one here, uh, I'm not going to change it on a default. Neutral would be required even uh, where there's no unbalanced load on a circuit. Neutral would be sized according to the hot conductor as opposed to just unbalanced current. And finally, my conduit type here is going to be steel. Um, so that's my default. Now I'm going to add some wiring types that I can plug those in. Um, first one I'm going to add is uh, if I've got a circuit that's got a lot of uh, harmonics or something. I call this HRM. I have the same default materials, temperature ratings. And everything else. Again, that maximum size. And here, however, on my neutral multiplier, I'm going to go with a 1.71. I'm going to oversize the neutral in this case. And neutral required. Uh, it's being sized by the uh, hot conductor. And also being still conduit. I'm noticing here my neutral size. I want that size, but I'm going to have conductor size too. Okay, and I'm going to add uh, one more, and this is going to be for uh, either uh, wiring that's uh, on slab on grade or outside. I'm going to call this uh, grade wiring. And copper. Seventy-five degree. I'll use that same insulation. Uh, neutral multiply being the same. Uh, in this particular case, um, we'll also 
the neutral and my kind of attack is going to be non-magnetic. I'll be running that in PVC. So uh, basically, I've set up these uh, wiring types. I'll be able to select and apply them later on to circuits, where we'll leave it at this point. And so that's about it for this video. Uh, we'll get on to uh, setting up voltages and other items uh, in the next video. For further information, see drinfrastructure.com.